All right, so I sold my organizer yesterday and I'll be shipping it out tomorrow and I wanted to do a very quick video with comparing the organizer to the Micropog and why I'm deciding to sell the organizer and sticking with the Micropog for now. Um, basically, it, it came down to tracking and when I use Octave stuff, whether it be really, really subtle like I'll show you or obnoxious as shit, I'd rather it track right with my direct signal rather than have the lag that the organizer has. Um, though I will say that there are some features the organizer has that I kind of wish the Micropog had to its, its octaves, but I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to start with just a standard organizer tone um, that I would normally use and then go to the Micropog and then I'll talk about what I like about each of them. Here's my clean signal. And that's with the lag at minimum, so the delay that the uh, affected signal has will be the least amount. Um, here's an example of that kind of sound, but what I would do with the Micropog. Um, I have the sub-octave up a little bit, the dry all the way up, and then uh, the octave up down a little bit less than the sub-octave, because it's kind of harsh. So I just like that it's faster, even though it's more subtle and it doesn't have the second voices like the choir knob on the organizer. I think it works out to be a little bit more useful for most stuff. But yeah, here's I'll, I'll turn both voices up a little bit more. <laughs> that there's a tone control because you can kind of roll off uh, a little bit of the high end with the that tone control but where the lag comes in it's a little bit less useful to me because I, I can't really implement it like Nick Reinhardt or somebody and he does kind of like he'll max out the lag <laughs> So he'll kind of use it like a pitch shifting delay. He gets cool tones out of it and he does his thing, but I think that's really all he uses it for. So with the lag down to the minimum, I can't do like that perfectly tracked. Like I'll usually do, that's a, a riff kind of based off of uh, a song by the Panda Resistance called Ebenezer. And uh, he uses a hog, but I like the It's like that instant tracking. And it's punchier, it's gonna be like way more punchier, but I think it works out well, 
and uh, that's that's really going to be the main difference between the two. So if you're looking for a an octave generator like organ sound, um, I think because the organizer is capable of adding that second voice above the um, upper octave and the sub octave, that's what the choir knob does. You it basically feeds those two back into itself to make uh, the higher octave. Um, like the, the two octaves up and the two octaves down, like the POG 2. So it definitely gets a little bit more organy, like you would use a POG 2 or even like the original POG with the, the more options. But uh, that's not really what my main use was, and I've had a couple of POG 2s and I've had the original POG. Um, this is my third micro POG. And if I'm going to turn it on, even with the other options on the other models, I always ended up with a simple little bit of octave up, a lot of sub octave, and then my dry signal all the way through. For... So just to have that punchy sound, and I like that. So uh, that's pretty much that. I'm going to go back to drinking bullet bourbon, um, old fashions with Maxwell, down there being a dick. and. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick and nasty uh, comparison between the two in case any of you are uh, interested in one of these pedals and want to see a close, a close comparison to help you with your purchase. I hope you like this video. If you do, like it. If you don't, dislike it. Let me know why in the comments you don't like it. Um, it's a little simple, but I figured it'd be a good call before I ship this out in the morning. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>